What up, YouTube? Welcome back to First Come, First Served. I do want to apologize. I couldn't film these for you guys yesterday. They did release yesterday on Saturday. Today is Sunday. I do apologize. Um, I waited not overnight, but I waited like in line starting from 7, 7.30 a.m. Copped both pairs, the EQT Bait Collab Research and Development, the 93.17 and the 93.16. Right after I bought the shoes, I had work, and I was just super, super tired, so I couldn't film for you guys, so I'm going to film it right now. Um, both were pretty coveted. Way more people were buying the 93.17. Almost no one was buying the 93.16, but 93.16s glow in the dark, so that's one of my favorite things about a shoe. That's why I got the Sneaker Boy Wish collab, the Pure Boost, and also the very first City Socked. That also glows in the dark. Um, I'm going to take a look at the 9316 right now for you guys. So, I bought a size 12. I, the store let me try it on. That was pretty cool of them. Usually, if it's hype release, there's not enough time. Too many customers. They don't let you try on the shoes. So, this is going to be the shoe. It's going to be all white. It's going to have the same cage that's normally on 9316. But it does have this new cage from what I believe is from the Stella McCartney collaboration of shoes and then it's gonna have that prime knit collar right here so additional details would be it's got this nylon strap right here it's stitched on with like a cross stitching in the back right there it has I'm not sure if these are 3m I just got the shoes put them in tried them on didn't really review them so this is pretty much also my first look um, the cage is going to be similar to the 9317 as well. Um, it has this bottom part right here. So this has like an accented red lacing system. So this one is white. So this whole thing will glow in the dark. I think it's supposed to look like the skeleton of your foot. But it's not actually aligned this way. It's going to be coming from this angle. So it's going to have the same cage, the Stella McCartney cage, it has this lace jewel, so it says support on it, and it's actually going to be die cast metal. I'm not too sure if it's stainless steel or anything, but it's a metal lace jewel, so that's pretty cool. Um, inside the shoe, we're going to have, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's consortium. It's going to have bait in it, and then on this side, it's going to have the Adidas trefoil. They do give you extra laces. These are extra white laces. I think these actually glow in the dark. So that's actually pretty cool too. It's going to have the consortium hole punch right here. It does say bait on this other side. So this shoe, pretty much all of it is going to glow in the dark. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get this one is because it does that. Um, sizing is going to be pretty much, I would want to say the same. Um, it's just going to be this prime knit like really open cage like system so there's not really anything inside it's pretty much going to be all prime knit and then the only thing that's holding the shoe together would be just this cage right here so i got a size 12 because these it's a non-removable ortholite insole so you can't remove it so given that usually i wear my shoes size 12 ultras without an insole i just got the same 12 with insole so i'm wearing thin socks it feels super nice super comfortable and just the added benefit ortholite with the ultra boost bottom it's just super comfortable so it's going to have torsion white torsion bar and also a white torsion system so that's really cool because usually this torsion system is either gray or just some other other color that doesn't match the shoe so this will be the 9316, and I know a lot of people want to know about the 9317s right here. So this would be the 9317. A lot of people like it because when you do take a picture, there is a bottom layer of 3M in the shoe. So tons of people were there. They were just buying the 9317. I was lucky to buy a size 13. They had only sizes 9 below when I got there, and then they had a couple 13s left. So this is going to be the shoe. Uh, big thing about the shoe is that it's going to have some different details about the 9317. 
So this back right here, it's going to feel like neoprene. Also, just this whole thing is going to be super padded. Like where your foot's supposed to go, the mouth of the foot right here. It's extremely padded. It's not going to be the burrito tongue. They actually changed it up. So it's going to be a one booty upper. So it's going to feel a lot similar to the EQT support ADV because it's just a whole one booty. There's no burrito. Um, it's going to have that same kind of cage that's on the Stella's, but it's going to have this contrasting red stitching. It is going to have 3M laces, and this also does have, let me flip this over for you guys, um, it says support in red. This lace jewel is also metal, so that's a really good detail. It's going to have the standard caging system from the 9317s. It's going to have bait consortium hole punch on this side also adidas trefoil hole punch and then it's going to have the same nylon strap and it's going to be cross stitched here so this is going to be the same pattern as this shoe so it's going to be like it looks like the skeleton of your foot and your toes but it's going to be angled this way so on this pair it's going to be underneath this initial prime knit it's going to be like a bottom layer of 3m and then it's going to be like this so it's angled this way as well so it's going to be yeah, white rubber outsole um so the main thing with this shoe is it's going to be sizing um even though i'm naturally a size 12 in eqt 9317s this shoe is i wouldn't say it fits tight lengthwise and everything is normal so it's going to be like size 12 or size 13 the length is going to be the same it's just this opening because there's so much padding i slip my foot in there this is really tight i tried it on in the store and i was really surprised because with this size 13 i mean i guess you could say I've, my ankles are pretty big like i have really bony ankles so when i put my foot in it's actually already really tight so i'm not sure if i got like a size 12 if it would be even more uncomfortable but my toes are like right here so you can totally tell there's like a whole opening and lining of just free prime knit right here. So I'm guessing hopefully if I can just wear thicker socks and then just wear these shoes because these shoes are really dope. Um, resale was projected to be about in the 400s, maybe 450s. But so many people are trying to get rid of pairs that some are selling for like around 350. Like the highest I've seen is maybe 400. So if you do want to cop, you can try and cop, it's not that expensive right now. And also don't forget, it's gonna release worldwide next week as well. So gauge the market that way. Um, so also too, the insoles, it's gonna be, it's all gonna be like this leathery. I'm not sure it's real leather, but it's gonna be that leathery pattern and it's gonna say consortium diagonally. And it's gonna have the trifle on this one, it's gonna have bait on this one. And standard for 9317s, it's gonna have a non-removable ortholite insole, so also count for that. Um, so yeah, for me, my true to size is 12. I bought a size 13. They fit. It's a bit long, but this opening is extremely padded, and it's actually pretty tight on my feet. So gauge it accordingly. Normally, 9317s are about 180, but this pair was actually 220, so it's 40 dollars over retail. This was 180 standard price for 93. 16s, I believe, is around 180. I think usually it's actually 160, 170, just because it's not like like a normal ultra. But I believe the 93 16s that have the normal mesh uppers, those are like 160, 170. And then I think the sock ones, so the actual prime knit pairs. I think those are 170, 180. I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on this. Um, so I did want to showcase the glow in the dark. So I actually let these charge up under my lights and then I'll do a B-roll of these when they glow in the dark and just normally I'll also do the same. I'll try and see if I can get three M's of this. Maybe I'll take a picture, put it inside the video, but that should be about it. Um, these are pretty much one of the most high packs of I guess this second half of 2017, especially this pair. But I guess there's tons of people that just bought this shoe to resell. So resale is down. It's actually not that expensive right now. So I guess just try and gauge the market, right? All right, so that's about it. Um, I'm gonna try and get videos out to you guys actually on time. 
I was just super dead tired. I only got one hour of sleep. So, but hopefully I can get stuff on time. I know you guys, you want to see the stuff. So I'm going to try my best. Um, that's about it. And then I'll have a B-roll and on feed for you guys later. Peace. I normally don't speak over my B-rolls, but I did want to point out one of my mistakes. The round laces on the 9316 are not 3M and they do not glow in the dark. The extra white laces also do not glow in the dark. I tried charging these in the sun and they actually don't hold their glow very well. I also use the flashlight and it just, it glows, but then it dissipates really fast. It's not like the Sneaker Boy Wish collab where everything glowed and actually holds its glow very well. So I do have a flashlight underneath my camera. So if you can tell, I'm going over the 3M laces of the 9317. And also if you can see in the toe box at a 45 degree angle, you can somewhat see the skeleton of, I believe, a foot. So this would be without the flash.